Hello, I am Fort Worth Police Chief Neil Noakes and I'm here to provide updated information concerning the critical police incident that occurred on January 7th, 2023. Even though we are providing an update, please keep in mind that we're still in the preliminary stages of this investigation and that we are still working to collect information about the facts and circumstances surrounding this event. The completed investigation and all the collected evidence will be turned over to the Tarrant County District Attorney's Office for review and grand jury presentation, which is standard operating procedure for the Fort Worth Police Department. On January 7, 2023, at 5.30 p.m., the Fort Worth Police Department received multiple 911 calls from people reporting that a suspect, later identified as 37-year-old Robert Bradshaw, pushed a woman from his white Kia Soul vehicle. As she was running away, he accelerated and struck her with the vehicle and then fled from the scene. The woman was seriously injured. The incident occurred in the 7600 block of Osborne Street. West Division patrol officers responded to the scene and began investigating. While West Division officers were trying to identify the suspect, Bradshaw drove his vehicle to a family member's residence located in South Fort Worth. At 5.45 p.m., the Fort Worth Police Department received a 911 call from Bradshaw's mother who said she needed the police to come to the residence. She told the call taker that she thought Bradshaw may be armed with a knife and that he needed mental health assistance. And I'm just really scared. I, I, think, I think he needs some mental evaluation. Okay. And where is he right now? He's in there with my parents. They're old. I really need some help. Okay. I need mental health help. Do you know if he has any weapons? I think he has a knife, but I'm not sure. All right. I don't even know I call. All right. Well, we'll go ahead and get a call up and just wait for officers to respond there. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. The Fort Worth Police Department also received a 911 call from Bradshaw's sister who reported that she was on the phone with her mother when she heard Bradshaw enter the residence. She reported that Bradshaw was a danger to the people in the residence as well as himself and believed he may be armed with a knife. Two South Division patrol officers were dispatched to the residence located in the 3500 block of Wedgworth Road South. They were provided with details of the 911 calls made by Bradshaw's family, but were unaware of the incident that occurred in West Division. When the officers arrived on scene, they knocked on the front door and observed a man and Bradshaw standing in the living room. Bradshaw told the officers, don't come in here as he held a long knife in his right hand. Officers told Bradshaw multiple times to put the knife down. As the officers were formulating a plan for one of the officers to use a taser to subdue Bradshaw, he charged the officers while holding the knife, placing both officers in fear for their life and resulting in both officers firing their handguns at him.
Bradshaw was struck by the gunfire and fell to the ground. Officers provided medical treatment to Bradshaw until medical personnel arrived on scene, but he was later pronounced deceased. This incident is another reminder of the dangers and realities of police work and the split-second decisions that have to be made. It's an unfortunate reminder of what officers encounter when they are serving the community. We ask for your prayers for everyone involved in this incident.